Hello everyone,、um, this is June from Desk Jams, and today I will talk about eight personal favorites that either arrived or were、uh, restocked during the past few months.、Um, for your convenience, this video has timestamps, and the products will also be listed in the description down below, along with all the other information about our store. So、uh, let's get right into it. First up, our new varieties of Pochito Six push button stamps. These are made by Kodomo no Kao, which is an almost 50-year-old stamp manufacturer in Japan. And together with the original 12 varieties released earlier, we expanded this popular collection to a total of 15 stamps. These new varieties are emoji, housekeeping, and entertainment. To clarify the Japanese words on some of them, so this one means to be released. Referring to either a new product or new song, so for example, you can use it to mark the date when your highly anticipated merchandise is going to be released on the market. This one is trash, so obviously you can use it either on a recycle day or a trash day. My neighborhood collects trash every Friday, so I can just do this to remind myself to take it out. All of the Pochito Six stamps are super convenient. They're self-inking, so you don't need any ink pad for stamping an image. They're also small and portable, so they're great for journaling on the go. And in addition, they have this clicky feedback when being pressed, making them very fun to use. The stamps are also very practical because the varieties cover a broad range of activities, from baby's health. To work schedule, to simple things like weather, so you can use them for basically all kinds of schedules. Next up is the Film Noir Zero Five Tape from Plus Minus. Plus Minus is a relatively new creator from Taiwan who specializes in designing stamps and tapes that have kind of vintage, messy collage patterns. These tapes are excellent for adding textures. In background decorations. Around the end of the summer, I received this film Noah Zero Five tape from her, and since then I find myself reaching for these all the time because of the colors and the diversity of the frames. The white and grayish tones of the frames work very well to highlight photos, texts, and any stamped patterns, and really anything in black and cool colors. Most of the scribbles or doodles are on the edges, so whatever you're trying to highlight will not get blocked. Each loop in this row is a whopping 200 centimeters in length. So just for comparison, a loop for typical pad tape is 150 centimeters long at most, which means one loop of this tape has over 30 frames to play with. And I'm not even counting these small ones. So if you're into art journaling using mostly neutral tone materials, this is definitely worth checking out. Next up is the new click card pens from Zebra in pastel colors. There are together 12 colors, and these have been recently restocked in our store as individual pens. Click card pens are、uh, one of the popular pens from Zebra, where they have this strong clicky mechanism. And although the ink is water-based, their special formula makes it hard to dry out. The new colors, as you can see, are much softer than the previous collections. Muted colors such as light khaki, sand beige, and light gray are really versatile because they make it easier for you to match your writings with other decorations on the paper. In addition, lighter colors such as powder blue and、uh, powder pink are actually not that hard to see because they have a little bit of fluorescent color inside. Having a tip of 0.6 millimeters, they are great for coloring, such as in habit trackers, or writing in bigger fonts, such as in making title pages. This is a cute little accessory that is quite handy. These products are bird mini two boxes from High Tide. There are together five colors, and each of these boxes are three by four by one point three inches, and they're stackable. I think these are super handy because they can be used to store those itty bits of、uh, leftover paper, 
from art journaling so that you can reuse them later. Here is some ephemera paper, a small memo pad, some scraps of paper from um, packaging earlier, some washi, you can even fit some washi inside, and a bulldog clip. They can also be used to store some small stamps. The box typically can fit five or six um, small stamps depending on their sizes. We have also recently added these new washi tapes from Seitosha. Seitosha, or Starlight Company in direct translation, was established in 2009 in Tokyo and they've been striving to create products with designs that reflect the beauty of daily life in Japan. These patterns are plain at first sight, but they actually have a slight vintage feel that makes them very elegant in action, in either collages or gift wrapping. I think the reason is their simplicity in design. With only a few colors, these tapes make it easy for everybody, even beginners, to match them with a lot of other paper materials, which makes the page or the spread look more harmonious um, when, you know, compared to using other washi tapes with more sophisticated patterns. These washis also have the most beautiful names, probably because their designs draw inspirations from either plants or nature or other daily objects from Japan. And these are things that are uh, ubiquitous in Japan, but Seitosha somehow managed to recreate them in a more elegant manner. For example, this is Japanese dogwood. This is called Japanese rose. And this is called by the sidewalk, showing patterns of little flowers as that you would encounter during a stroll on the sidewalk. This is the new one day one page diary from Midori for the year 2023. The one day one page has been very popular mainly due to its versatility. To start off, uh, it has uh, one index tabs with um, one column of the month and one column of empty tabs for you to write whatever you want. And then it also has a bookmark. And the first page, you can write your names or title for the year. And then the first two pages are yearly calendars with plenty of rooms on the side to mark important events. Each diary has 14 calendar spreads from December last year to January the following year. They have a minimalist design and a lot of blank spaces wrapped around the calendar for extra notes. But the restrictions seem to stop there. The main part consists of 385 pages for daily diary, but none of the pages are actually dated so you're free to skip a day if you need to. You can even continue to use it the following year if there are still some empty pages left by the end of the year. The pages have some simple lines on the left for the hours of the day and plenty of empty spaces all around for anything else. In fact, in Japan, it has the nickname Yohaku or blank spaces because of these extra empty spaces made for your creativity. The notebook uses the famous MD paper, which is very friendly to fountain pens, with uh, generally no feathering or bleeding. There might be a little bit of a ghosting, but that's not too bad. These pages are very flexible to suit your needs on any given day. The lines on the left allows you to record your schedule with a little bit of a decoration on the outside if you like. You can, you can also doodle whatever you want and even add some dry colors of your choice. Of course, you can also just write diaries, create art collages, or use it for scrapbooking, for memory keeping. So if you are someone that wants to start a diary but doesn't necessarily want to write every day, and also wants flexibility on what you put on the pages, then this might be the right diary notebook for you. Here's a little accessory related to the one day one page diary. 
These are the cream correction tapes from Plus, and all widths have been recently restocked. These tapes work really well with cream colored pages like MD Paper. They come in different sizes, 2.5 mm for super tiny fonts, and 4 mm, 5 mm, and also a 6 mm version is available in our store. As a comparison, these are samples from normal white correction tape, and below is the plus cream tape on MD paper. So if you use MD paper a lot, for example in middle notebooks and traveler's notebooks, these cream tapes are highly recommended. Just a word of caution though, their color might still be too light for yellow pages we see in some notebooks like Robon. Robon actually has their own correction tape that has an even darker color than these ones. And those Robon tapes are currently sold out, but we're looking to restock them soon. And finally, my favorite, Kokuyo's glue tape cutter. I really love this one just because this is the only tape dispenser I found that can actually hold its ground on the table when I'm using it. So to use, just open a side cap and fill in a tape up to 18 millimeters wide and up to 52 uh, millimeters uh, long in terms of the diameter. And then just uh, close it. It has a suction button that'll secure it onto a flat surface. You can still lift it a little bit for repositioning but it's actually very hard to lift it completely off the table. And more importantly, it will not budge at all when I'm pulling the tape off the cutter. So, these are all my favorites in the past few months. Honestly speaking, it was kind of hard to pick only eight because we had a lot of interesting new arrivals this summer, including a um, number of decorative stamps and micro stickers that are really great for decorating your planners or journals. So feel free to comment below to let me know uh, which is your favorite or if you have uh, another favorite from our store. Um, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.